welcome to our last installment of the image guided interventions tutorial and this time we'll be talking about uh, navigation and we assume that we already calibrated our camera calibrated our pointer tool did our planning and now it's time to navigate so select the navigation program and enlarge that we load our configuration and the tool is visible but the, this is our dynamic reference frame and our tool we attach our dynamic reference frame to our patient and now they're one rigid body and we will be able to move the patient wherever we want to and uh, the images uh, displayed on, uh, on screen will still be valid. So let's position our patient. And the first thing that we need to do is register. So uh, we have our credentials and accept first credential, second. third, fourth, and fifth. And now we can register. And as you can see here, this is uh, the tip of our pointer. Obviously, before registration, it's not in the correct place. Now we register and we have a registra fiducial registration error of 2.12 millimeters. That uh, doesn't really reflect uh, the quality of registration, it just says that uh, the points that we digitized in the real world are pretty close to the configuration to those that we identified in the image. Now let's look at the image again. Here you can see that if I'm touching a fiducial, the uh, blue sphere and yellow sphere here are almost overlapping and that's what we should see that now there is a correspondence between the physical world and the virtual world displayed on screen and now we're actually interested in our target registration error and we chose as our target the uh, tip of the eye in the IGT inside the phantom and as you can see there is an overlap between the red sphere and the blue sphere and let's see what the distance is between them and it's about five millimeters which is reasonable for this type of setup using a webcam as a tracking system and a pencil as a pointer device now uh, to see why we use a reference frame well if I move the patient around you can see that the uh, relationship between the pointer and the virtu its virtual uh, display are consistent even though I move the patient or phantom in the physical world. So that's why we use a reference frame so that we don't force the physicians to uh, work in a static uh, setup where the patient cannot be moved. And that's it for uh, our image-guided navigation tutorial, and we're done.